Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where of course every day is a train show and it's the holiday season. I hope you're getting excited. Engineer Hall, how excited are you? I'm super excited. It's that part of the year that brings me so much joy. That's right. The, this magic in the air. As a matter of fact, I think you got something for me, don't you? I got letters! Oh, these are ah. letters that were written to Santa that we received. Oh, I thought we would read some of them because some of them are very endearing, okay? So, dear Santa, I have been very good this year. I would like a lot of Dash 8s for Christmas. Oh, wow. Well. Please make sure that they are under the Christmas tree. Signed, Timmy, age 57. Oh, young at heart. I thought you said these were kids. Uh, I'm sorry. It's kids for, you know, you know how it is for us. 57. Buy your own engine. All right. Well, anyway, we have some new things that we're going to take a look at. And the first thing that we're going to take a look at is from Rapido. We looked at some cabooses last time. Well, I got some more, and these are Canadian versions. So check out these cabooses. I think these are really cool. So I have here three different versions of these Canadian cabooses. Let me give you the exact term of what these are oh, called. Oh, nice. These are called the, just simply, Wide Vision Cabooses. Now, the neat thing about these cabooses is they are incredibly detailed. I love everything that goes on in there. Engineer Hall, take a look at the end of this caboose there. Take a look at all the this intricate detailing that's in there. And another neat thing that's happening is if you take an actual look at the caboose cupola, check this out. I don't know if I could do this with my pencil right here. I don't want to break it, but those windows actually slide in, slide out. If you take a look at this T, H, and B, you're going to see that the caboose window is actually open there. But the neat thing about these lights here is the I, uh, Rapido puts what they're called their magic wand right here. And if I put this in the right area on the top of the caboose here, I can actually turn those lights off if I desire to have them off, or I could turn them back on. The other neat thing about this is if we take a look here at the end of our caboose, you can see it best on this Ontario and Northland. And you see I have there the little trailing lights there as well. This is a lot happening with these cabooses. And just like we saw with the Northeastern cabooses last time we uh, took a look at them, these cabooses are just incredibly highly detailed. There's really no better one up on the market right now. And if you're a Canadian fan, I think you need to get a couple of these on your railroad. Now, the retail value of these cabooses is $99.95. Again, it's a lot of money for a caboose, but you're never going to find another one that is as chock full of detail as possible as this one. This just looks fantastic. Of course, you could always throw in the engineer hall discount, save a little money there. But we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $95.95. So come into the Yankee Dabbler, get this engine, uh, get this car rather, on the end of your train today because I think you're really going to enjoy them. All right, I have another little letter here from one of our special little guys. This is Jimmy. He says, Santa, I have been very good this year. I would really like to have a steam engine under my twee. Twee, that's so cute. So please make sure that that is chugging along on Christmas Day. Signed, Jimmy, 71. He's young guy. Very 71. Young. He's young, young guy. 71. Twee? What's twee? a twee? What's a twee? You told me these were from kids. Um, the name sounds like <sighs> Kid Jimmy. Anyway. What we have here is, speaking of things that go around our tree here, a lot of you might be looking for some starter sets to put around your uh, your display this holiday season. You know, speaking of people that are looking to get something started for this holiday season, a starter set is probably the great way to go, simply because you get everything you need to get started for uh, putting something around the tree or a little holiday display. Or maybe if you're even looking to get it started in model railroading, a starter set's the way to go. You get your track, transformer, and your train best way to get going and get started for this holiday season so we're gonna go on a little field trip now i gotta preface this by saying this is really meant more for people that are in our area yankee devil area. we don't have a lot of these on our website the reason being is because it costs us a lot to ship these and a lot of times it's just not worth it to ship some of these things out here but if you're local in the jersey area and you want to take make a visit to our store you can get some of these sets going here so let's take a look at some of these end scale sets that they have here and these are from bachman and i have a lot of really great sets looking here i got the empire builder i got a ton of freight cars happening there i got some durango and silverton this is a really neat set here the pennsylvania set i love the passionate cars happening here actually i have a couple of dcc sets here i have the whistle stop special and i got the roaring rails up there and for our thomas the tank engine fans here i got a whole bunch of thomas sets as well 
I mean, if you're an end scaler and you're looking to get something started for this holiday season, so they're around that tree or a holiday display, I got a whole bunch of them. But if you're an HO guy or, or gal, well, check this out. Going on our little display here. Now, I have a bunch of HO sets here as well, again from Bachman. Check this one out. This is a brand new one that just came in. I love this one here. If you're a fan of the Daylight, the 4449, that's an awesome looking set there. Three uh, passenger cars, the engine. Looks great. I have a couple of DCC sets here. Who can forget Thomas? Got a couple of diesel sets there. I got a Civil War thing right here. Another DCC set. Actually, I got two DCC sets. Actually, I have a couple of Christmas sets up here. If you take a look up here, I got a couple of Christmas sets. So maybe you're just looking to get started for Christmas time. Well, there you go. So I got a lot of really great options here. But if you even want to go bigger, if you're an O-scaler, let's check these out up here. Start right here. We got Thomas happening here. If you want some Lionel sets here, I got Thomas the Tank Engine here. I got Kansas City Southern. Santa Fe, I got the Army, the Emergency Response. John Deere, we actually looked at that on our show before. Anheuser-Busch, Toy Story. Of course, we got the Polar Express, Christmas Light Special, the Keystone, Union Pacific, Chesapeake and Ohio. I got a whole bunch of sets happening here at the store here. And if you're looking to get started here with something for this holiday season, if you want something around your tree, holiday display, whatever you want, we got you covered. Come into our store, Yankee Dabbler. We would love to see you. We'll talk to you about what you're looking for. Maybe try to find the right thing for you. And we actually, uh, we actually sell things that you can expand on your set. Like if you want more track, if you want more cars, we got you covered here. So check out our store. Come on, visit. We'll get you set and get you roaring this holiday season. Is this one from a kid? A prom shoes from a kid. All right. A little youngish, but you know, it's a kid. Okay. Dear Santa Dabbler, I've been incredibly good this year. I want Twain because I am good, please give me Twain. Sign Christian. Wait, you talking about Christian? Christian? Our Christian? Obviously, that's our Christian. Oh boy, where he at? Anyway, if you want a Twain around your Christmas tree and you're an end scaler, I got some options for you here, and I got some really neat dash eights, dash forty. I'm sorry, dash eight forty Bs. Dash 832 BHWs or Dash 839Bs. That's a lot of numbers. Let's check out these engines here from Atlas here. And I have a whole slew of different diesel locomotives to check out here. I have here, of course, the Conrail. I have here the Southern Pacific. I have the LMX, the Susquehanna. Let's get a little Pan American Airways there. Railways, rather. I have the P&W. Now, I have two really cool RJ Corman ones here. I have two different versions my personal favorite i love me some santa fe and i have two amtraks the pepsi can version and the current scheme that we have there and finally we're going to wrap it up with the Burlington northern santa fe now the really neat thing about these engines and i know engineer hall loves him some zash eights if you take a look at these diesel engines here these are alice engines here these have dcc and sound they look great they sound great and if you're looking for some modern diesel power to put on your rails, look no further than this. Engineer Hall, do these still run on the rails? No. Uh, it's uh, here and there. You know, get phased, getting phased out. All right, but you know what? You still see them on the rails here. These are really neat diesel locomotives here. And our end scalers really like to look at these diesel locomotives. So I want to run the Santa Fe because nothing says Christmas time like the war bonnet paint scheme. So let's all aboard a Dash 8. Let's start her up. All right, here's the bell. Here's the horn. Start her up.
Cybot. Now arriving, a dashi. Cool. So it's a great diesel to get for a very affordable price there. If you want, I forgot to mention that uh, some of these have dish lights and some of these do not have dish lights. So if you want the version that doesn't have dish lights, they, they retail for two forty nine ninety five. But we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for one seventy four ninety five ninety nine, and if we want the version that does have dish lights here, they retail for two fifty nine ninety five, and we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for one seventy nine ninety nine. So it's a really neat diesel locomotive to get. It has a lot of great colors, a lot of great sounds. It runs great. I don't know what you're waiting for. Get some of these dash eights on your roster today. All right, Engineer Hall promised me this one's from a kid. I promise. Dear Christopher Kringle. Wow, that's very formal. Yeah. I am pleased to inform you that my behavior has been stupendously awesome this year to be allotted a spot on the nice list of our calendar year of 2023. My amazingness has improved the kindness of humankind, and I have been amazingly great to our fellow man. Okay, this is not written by a kid. They sound like a young genius. You know, the kids nowadays are in the school. Young genius. Okay, at one point know. they referenced three of the elements of the periodic table. Is, is that young Sheldon? I, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, and no, they used the word hypoterry. I can't even pronounce that word. They used that correctly. And... Okay, here they drew coordinates of the longitude and latitude to their house. This is not a kid, dude. It gotta be Sheldon. Maybe. S. Cooper. Mm. You never know. <laughs> never know. All right, Sheldon Cooper watches our show. Hey, speaking of other people that watch our show, you might be looking for a steam locomotive for this holiday season. I got a really good one here from Bachman. It's the Queen of Steam herself, Norfolk and Western. Number 611. Check out this engine here. Now, this is not a brand new engine, but we finally got these back in stock here. These are always a popular engine to have because everybody knows the Queen of Steam 611 here. Now, this is a really nice looking engine. This is actually the excursion version. And if you take a look here, it has that shine to it. It looks brand new. It looks like it just came out of the paint factory here. I love the cold load that I have happened here that is molded in there, but it's not like just totally filled to the bunker. It has a little bit of um, a depletion there. I have really nice detailing. You know, even for a Bachman engine, I have a really nice detailing happening here. This even looks great as like a display piece here. I mean... I don't know anyone that is a steam fan that isn't factuated by the 611 here. I've seen it many times here. It looks great. It sounds great. And I know what many of you might be thinking. Okay, it's a Bachman steam locomotive. Okay? Well, this is where the, it, we get you. First of all, it runs great. It sounds great. And the price here, they retail for $495.99. But we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $269.99. If this was a Broadway limited engine, easily this is a $700 engine. Okay, so if you're looking to get a steam locomotive that is a very nice, it's very uh, economically friendly, and it is a reliable uh, puller, I recommend this 611. But let's get it fired up and let's see what it sounds like. Let's get fired up. Let's take a listen to the bell. Let's take a listen to the whistle. Now, someone has seen 611 multiple times, that's pretty close to what that whistle sounds like. Let's get started. Back her up.
Let's pull a caboose string while we're here. Now arriving, train number 611, the Queen of Steam. So it's a great running locomotive here. It sounds pretty good too. And the big selling point for this engine here is the engine there. Hold, take a look at this train that we have here, okay? We got 611 here. 611. 269.99 is what we're selling it for. Right. See these three cabooses? These three cabooses cost more than that. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that is where we are at with these trains here. But Bachman makes a really nice, reliable product here. It looks good. It sounds good there. So if you're looking for a steam locomotive to add to your fleet that is not going to break your bag, I recommend getting the Queen of Steam on your roster today. All right, so let's take a look at a recap of all the things that we took a look at at today's show here. From Atlas here, we had these Dash 8s. We have three different variations of these Dash 8s here. From Rapida, we had these awesome looking cabooses here, these uh, Y Coppola cabooses here. From Bachman, we have here the Queen of Steam number 611J engine. And then we took a look at all of our starter sets that we have here in our store. So if you're local, if you're looking to get a starter set for this holiday season, come to our store, get you started in N, H, or, or O scale. I think you're really going to enjoy what we have. But of course, if you were looking for something that we don't have, uh, didn't feature in today's show, we're going to our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type what you're looking for in the search bar, and we'll get it packed up, shipped out to you, so you can have awesome fun this holiday season. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the videos that we have here talking about trains, showing trains, living, breathing, doing everything about trains here. We got it covered here on the Engineer Hall channel. All right, so I got one more letter here. I promised you it was a child. This one's a kid. You it's, sure? It's a child. All right. So, dear Engineer Hall Claus, I have been incredibly good this year. I want lots of Norfolk Southern Diesel locomotives. Sign E H. Is that you? No, no. That's um Eddie Howard. Who's Eddie Howard? Oh, okay. It Eddie says P S. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, you got me. I, I need more subscribers. You know, I, I, I need more Northful Southern. Well, engines, this was a big know. bust. All right. Well, well yeah, anyway, I, you know. we're going to conclude today's show with a rail fan video. And yeah, you did. Uh, we can conclude today's show with a rail fan video. We're going to take a look at 611 going through Virginia at track speed. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And I think once you see it, you're going to want to get that 611 going on. All right. Well, rail. if you excuse me, I got to find some actual letters from kids to fulfill their holiday wishes. Okay, this guy's 99, so that's not going to work here. Uh, Young at heart, man. What? Uh, yeah, okay, that's nice. But, you know, kids, it's the holiday season here, okay? This this is you again. How many of these did you write? Look, I need to get the subscribers This is up. not a Christian one. It's just a picture of a duck. I'm confused by that one. This guy's 112. 